Hey y'all. Hope everybody is doing great. I'm a little aggravated today. Um, I'm headed, well, I'm here now, but yesterday I was headed to Springfield, the terminal, because I'm going to shut down for the weekend because it's my birthday weekend, so I'm going to be doing a few things. So I was on a load, you know, and I had just enough time to get the load there because I was working off of recapped hours, and what recapped hours are? You have 70 hours to work in a week. Once your 70 hour clock is depleted, you're now working on recapped hours, meaning the hours that you get, um, you get back every day at midnight. And you get back hours every day at midnight because um, the week before on that same day, however many hours you ran on that same day the week before, that's what you recap a week later. So I'm working on recapped hours, so I need to get a 35 34 hour reset in um, but I'm trying to get this load in so the person who's going to I'm taking it to the Springfield yard so the person who's going to um, take the load to the bottom of Texas after I drop it you know needs to get it because it was due the next day at 1 o'clock so I'm driving minding my, mind my business and this I noticed in the in my driver's side mirror that there is this driver's well, she was just driving a little not normal so I'm just watching her you know and I'm just driving out of my business and I was in the right hand lane and she swerves over and she side swipes me um, she got so close to where her car it was a black SUV it hit it scratched up my tire and some of the bolts it knocked off the tire pressure sensor gauge thing and it left a scratch um, it's like a, a long gash on the side of the, the driver's side of the truck. So I'm like, are you serious? So I'm in Springfield, I'm in Missouri, so it's, you know, it's mountainous area. So I can't just pull over anywhere. I have to wait until I can pull over so I can get out and see what the damage was. But she just kept going. I'm like, oh my God. And, and while she's, um, going, she's still swerving and stuff. I'm like, okay, this is a drunk driver. She just hit me. She kept going. I can't chase her. One, I'm in a truck. And two, I'm in a prime truck. These trucks are some of the slowest on the road. I hate to say it, but we are. You know, my truck is governed at 65 miles per hour. So I can't chase her down. So I'm like, really? So I have to wait. I get like maybe a mile down the road to the next mile marker where I can actually pull over. And luckily, she had pulled over as well. So I caught up with her and I pulled up in front of her. And the way she pulled off the road, she... She was on she was on one. I don't know what she was on, but she was on one. So it's dark. I didn't get out the truck to go approach her car or anything. It's dark. People crazy. You know, I ain't trying to even do that. So I call the police or whatever. They come and pull up right behind her. So I'm just looking to make sure this lady ain't trying to speed off or nothing. So they come, they pull up behind her. Um, make a long story short, she's arrested. Um, the police comes to me and it's like they did a breathalyzer test. Um, it wasn't alcohol that she on, but she's on something. You know, so she's intoxicated or under the influence or whatever you call it. So she's arrested and she has a bad tag and no insurance. Tag expired last year. So I'm like, okay, so I'm going to have to pay for this. So I'm, I'm, I'm pissed off. This whole ordeal took the rest of the time left for me to get my load to the yard so after all is said and done she um she's arrested and i have to go to a rest area that's about seven miles down the road in st Clair, missouri to shut down because i was totally out of time totally out of time so what they end up doing and dispatch was getting on my nerve all night actually because i'm sitting here trying to correspond with dispatch to let them know what's going on so they can try to repower the load and they ain't saying nothing through this whole ordeal but i did talk to road assist and i did talk to safety but dispatch ain't saying nothing i cannot stand working with other dispatchers that's not mine because it's like they don't give a damn so i'm aggravated so i pull up to the rest area i'm waiting up you know 
to see if dispatch going to say anything and they didn't say anything so i'm like okay well i'm going to sleep and then they'll get it when i get up tomorrow and get it there i stopped about 150 something miles away from the yard so i was like okay so after waiting up for almost two hours to see if something was going to happen I go to sleep. I'm tired. It was a long night. Like, I'm frustrated because I know I'm going to have to pay um, a $1,000 deductible for this truck. So, um, when I get good and into my sleep, I'm talking about good and into, I was sleeping good. So, I had the temperature right in the truck. It was great. I hear a knock on the door. And it startled me out of my sleep. And it's the other prime driver. So I look, I'm like, really? So I look on my messages, um, on the app on the messages to see what when did dispatch finally say something. They said something almost four hours. Four hours. Four hours later that I parked. Four hours after this incident, I'm trying to get in contact with them. Four hours. So I'm aggravated. I done got jolted out of my sleep from the non-communication. Just, just, it was just a mess. Uh mess so i get on the phone with dispatch this morning and he's telling me oh, yeah you're gonna have to pay a thousand dollar deductible and i don't even know how long this truck gonna be in a shop like i'm just i'm very aggravated like my birthday is tomorrow and i don't feel like dealing with this truck like i'm, I'm just really aggravated like really and it's like what else what else what else just what else but i mean i can't even be like that because it could have been a lot worse for that lady because this truck could have smushed her and this truck would have still been fine and uh, road worthy like she could have died and we in mountain territory and it could have been a whole lot worse it could have been a lot worse for me as well you know um but i do thank god that everything you know everything went you know went well and it could have been a whole lot worse it really could have because i don't know what i would have did if i would have had to see something dead and smushed somebody dead and smushed under the like i can't i cannot so i do bless god for that but i'm like god eh, this is a lot and especially since i'm you know I'm um, newly on my own solo and a lease driver for all of this to be top heavy you know is aggravating because I'm trying to build you know my income I'm trying to build that and it does start out a little slow you know because there's a few things that you got to take up take care of and that's coming out of your check and the payment every week and, it, and this this is is really frustrating so if this is a part of paying your dues as your first year trucking then I'm I'm paying them I'm I'm really paying them, but I'm not gonna let it get me down. My next check probably won't have a check because this deductible and crap gotta come out. I don't even know. Like I, I'm I'm just I'm really aggravated, but I'm I'm happy and I'm blessed at the same time. So I don't know what you call that emotion. Like if you had to sum it up all in one, what would you call aggravated, but relieved and blessed and pissed off at this? What do you call that? <laughs> But, oh God, I am about to go and get me something to eat. I'm hungry. I'm at this Cracker Barrel and they have all uh, you can eat cod. So I'm about to go get me some fish and calm down. Peace out, guys. Until next time, God bless.